everybody, my name is Carrie. My channel mostly focuses on content that is fashion, beauty, and sometimes sneaker related. If that sounds like things that you're into, then please do join us. I would love to have you. So today what I'm going to be doing is talking about um, some of the upcoming sneaker releases that I'm the most excited about. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into there, right into it. So the first two that I'm excited about is coming out, releasing this Friday, February 11th. And this is the um, Union and Nike Dunk Clothes in the colorway Pistachio. Um, this shoe is also said to come out in two other colorways, but I don't think those colorways are coming out on the 11th, but the pistachio colorway is coming out on the 11th for sure. So the next shoe is um, a pair of fives, and they're like in the color blue and black, and those release um, this Saturday on the 12th. The next shoe is um, the Valentine's Day Dunk. So this releases on February 14th on actual Valentine's Day, and I just love this shoe. I think it's beautiful. Um, but pink is also my favorite color, so I may be a little bit biased. Um, the next pair of shoes is coming out on the 16th, and this is a pair of ones, and they are the marina blue colorway. Um, I just really dig the color. Um, the blue is like a little bit different than, than like, um, how do I put this? It's not like the blue that, that Nike usually does. It's like a little bit more of a dull blue, um, which I think is cool. And I'm excited for those. Hopefully, I can grab The next shoe is scheduled, is set to release on February 19th. And this is a pair of Yeezy 500s in the color Blush. This is a restock they have released before. Um, I didn't get them the first time. I slept on them. But I would like to grab a pair this time if it's possible. Um, the next shoe that I would like to talk about is um, released on February 24th. And this is a women's shoe. And um, it's, in the, it's called Canvas. And it's kind of like, it looks like a poor man, um, like the off-white sales. Um, which is fine by me because I'm definitely going to try to grab a pair if I can. Um, the next two pairs of shoes, they don't have a, um, a definite release date, but I, they're expected to release sometime in February. So the first pair is the Air Jordan 1 Lowe's Chinese New Year. I just think it's a really, really dope shoe. I hope that I can grab a pair of these. Like, I hope that they don't just do like some surprise drop and that I miss them because I really do like this shoe and I fell in love with it like the moment that i saw it um and the next shoe is the jordan one elevated in bread okay these shoes are going to get so much hate a lot of people are going to hate them um just because they kind of took like a classic colorway and they played around with it a little bit made it like a creeper style shoe um i love it i really do and i hope that i'm able to catch these as well um because i do want a pair of them but i know that people are going to hate them um if i do get my hands on a pair i'm definitely going to do a video of them because i just think that they're so unique and so cool and i don't know i'm not like a traditionalist so i'm totally okay with like new colorways new shoes whatever i still like to have um retros of like the you know the original releases or whatever but i'm also open to like jordan brand trying new things as well okay so we're moving on to march the first shoe in March is set to release March 1st, and these are the Nike um, Dunk Lows and the Chicago colorway. I like this shoe for obvious reasons. The Chicago colorway is classic. It looks good with anything, and for them to put it on a Dunk is, is really cool. But I know that these shoes are going to be like crazy hard to get. People are going to want them. Um, hopefully, I'm one of the people that gets a pair. The next shoe, um, the next one that I have on my list is not really quite a sneaker but it is a shoe um so these are yeezy slides they're set to release march 7th and they're in the coming in the colors black and ochre um see i, I googled that so i can make sure i pronounced that right for you guys okay and then next we have on the 19th we have air jordan 4 and these are called the zen masters and these are just they're dope i like the colorway i like that like the like tie-dye-ish effect i guess you would call it um it's really really they're really cool they kind of look like an abstract painting a little bit um i'm excited for them. my opinion jordan is going like crazy for the much month of march and there are so many shoes that i would like to really catch a release on um hopefully i do but anyway the next shoe is coming out on the 24th and this is an eight and it's like um rue hachimera i think is what it's called um but anyway it's like a beige or khaki colorway um, and they have like little hints of red details on them, but it's just overall a very, very clean shoe. Um, I think it's beautiful. I would like to get a pair. The next shoe is releasing on March 25th, and this is the Air Jordan 5 Jade. I'm sure you have already seen this like everywhere. Some people have like early pairs and all this stuff. 
Um, it's a beautiful shoe. I'm a fan of like olive color shoes or whatever. I remember like when they released the images of it, um, like the mock-ups last year, they had like some um, pink on them. And I really, really thought that that was dope and I really wanted them. Um, now the updated images of the shoe does not have the pink on them, but they're still a nice shoe and I would still like to grab them. So the next pair is March 30th and this is a seven and this is in the colorway Shimmer. So it's like a, um, again, like a tan-ish color and it has pink and purple details on it. It seems like Jordan is doing a lot of um, pink and purple colorways or whatever, which I'm not complaining about because I love it. Um, but anyway, that's another shoe that's really, really cute. Um, I, hope, I hope I can get a pair and I hope they release some kid sizes as well because it would be a great shoe for my daughter. Also, um, in this month, I know that the playoffs 12s are releasing and also there's like a 13 that's in yellow or whatever. Those personally did not like, does, did not make my list, but I know that that's something that people are probably looking forward to. The Yeezy Wave Runners are also scheduled to re-release, uh, restock for like the, I don't even know what number this is time in the month of March, but there's no set date yet. I have like either like passed on them every time or I've missed. Um, so I'm really hoping that I can get a pair this time because it's definitely a classic shoe and a shoe that I would like to have in my collection. Um, a shoe that I forgot to mention, um, is releasing supposed to be releasing on the 5th or the 6th of March. Um, and this is the Union and Nike Cortez shoe in the color pink. It's just an awesome shoe. It has like an old, updated old school feel that I'm really here for. Um, I know that this shoe will be like loved by some and hated by some, but I love the shoe. Union never seems to bless me for whatever reason. So I'm not like holding my breath, but I would like to get a pair if possible. Um, so yeah, there we have it for the month of March. Also scheduled to release sometime this spring, but they don't have a set date, are the Nike Jordan 1 Zoom Comforts and they're coming in pattern colorway. So there's a red pair and there's also going to be a purple pair. And these are really, really nice. Um, these usually release like, I don't know, there's like usually not really um, a scheduled release date. They just kind of like happen and you have to catch it. Um, so I'm hoping that I can catch uh, the red pair. I'm not really that big of a fan of the purple pair, but they are nice. And I know that some people will appreciate them. Okay, so April 2nd, we have the 13th and the navy colorway. Um, again, another classic shoe. Um, I'm definitely going to go for a pair of those. And on April 8th, Union is releasing two pairs of twos. Um, I don't know what's going on this year. They have like, Union has a lot of releases um, with Jordan Brand this year but anyway um i like personally like the colorway with the orange on them but they're also coming in a blue colorway as well but i would not hold my breath for that either of those because if you know anything about how those releases go um then yeah you know so next year we have is coming out on april 16th and this is the air jordan 5 easter i love this shoe this is like a pink ish colorway um i don't know if that's pink or purple or something like that um but it's a dope shoe. I hope that they come in like full family sizes so that I can get my daughter a pair of these as well. They have a glow in the dark bottom, which I think is really, really cool. And again, um, this year Jordan is being is really heavy with the pink and purple colorways, which I can appreciate. So after that shoe, we have so we also have an Air Jordan 11 Low, and this is coming in the color violet. So another purple shoe. Um, and these I have to have them. But they don't have a scheduled release date yet. Um, but it's expected to release sometime in April. And another shoe that doesn't quite have a release date, but is expected to release in April are the Air Jordan 1 Georgetown. Um, it's just a very, very classic, clean colorway that I would like to have in my collection. May is my birthday month. And sadly, um, so far, the shoes that are set to release pretty much suck. Um, but there is one pair of shoes that is scheduled to release, I believe, on the 12th. Yes, May 12th. And it's the Air Jordan 4 Infrared. And this is probably, of, of what we've seen so far, this is probably the only shoe that I'm going to grab in May. I'm just really not a fan of the shoes that they have already on the schedule for May. In the month of June, um, again, I don't really see anything that caught my eye. But of course, these are subject to change because these things are updated all the time. But anyway, there's a, um, the Retro 5s um, in the color Greenway what in the in the color green bean now 
I have to buy this shoe because um, I remember when I had my original pair like in high school um, and they also had like a pink and gray pair as well. I had both of those. Um, but I love those shoes. But when I came back, when I first graduated from college and I, I moved back home, I gave them away like to a little neighborhood kid or whatever. But that is a shoe that I miss. And so I would like to have it again. Um, in July, on the 2nd, there is the um, Air Jordan 7 Citrus. Now, I have to get this shoe because this is one of the shoes that like made me originally fall in love with the Jordans and like was part of my start of collecting if that makes sense. Um, there was this pair and then there was the pair that was like um, gray and white and has like purple on it. I forget what they're called, but I'll insert a picture. I think they just retro not that long ago. But this pair right here was one of the shoes that like cemented my love for Jordan. Um, back when I first got this shoe, I remember like that's when everybody used to like layer, um, layer their shirts. I was probably like 12 or yeah, I think I was like 12, 13, something like that. Um, everybody would layer their shirts and I would wear like, I was like, oh, do you with it? Like I wore like, like, I was just like getting carried away. So I would have on like three shirts, like with all the different colors or whatever. But this just brings back memories for me. Um, and I have to have this shoe. So on the July 30th, there is a pair of 12s and they're in the gray and white colorway. And I just think that this is a very clean colorway of a shoe that I cannot say that I have anything like it in my collection currently. Um, so I would like to have a pair of these shoes. They kind of put me in the mind of like the PSNY 12s, but of course they're, they're not like nearly as dope as that pair of shoes. And they're also not suede, they're leather, but it kind of gives me that same um, feel. Okay, so the shoes that I'm um, looking at in August, these don't have a scheduled release date yet, um, but there's a pair of Jordan ones in um, the color yellow toe. Um, I just really like them. They kind of like Wu Tangish in a way. Um, I want that pair of shoes if I can get them. So the next pair of shoes is an Air Jordan Seven Afro. It's called Afro Beats, and this shoe is a little bit funky. And I know that some people are not going to like it. Um, it's like beige and it has some blue detailing on it and like some other like abstract drawings or whatever. I like this shoe. I would like to have a pair. I don't care what y'all think. Okay, so in the next um, pair of shoes that that are um, also don't have a release date, but they're in this same month, is a pair of fours, and they're in an olive color way. And these are a little bit weird in a way. Um, it's like a dark olive kind of color, and it has orange accents. Um, let me just pause and say that like olive green and orange, that is just a combination that works so well together. Um, but anyway, olive green is one of my colors, like, Pink and olive green, those are my colors. Um, so I, I want this shoe. So for the rest of this year, like September through December, um, I don't know what's going on for those months, but that's normal. Usually those shoes, those shoes are typically not shown in the beginning of the year. You usually have to wait for those and the calendars update as the year goes on. So I don't really know what's um, going on in those months. I do know in December, there's a, um, they already show like what's the holiday 11 and it's the Air Jordan 11. Um, in the cherry colorway. I'm not really like wild about those. Like I may grab them, but it's not like they're not really noteworthy to me. So that's not something that I felt like I really needed to discuss. Um, there are two shoes that don't have a release date yet, but that I'm really looking forward to. Um, and those are the Yeezy Foam Runners in the color blue. I don't own a pair of Foam Runners yet. Um, I did try for like the, um, I don't, I forget the colorway, but it's like the beige, beige ones. Um, and I did not get a pair or did I try for black? I don't know. I tried for one of those and I did not get it. Um, it's crazy because I used to get every pair of Yeezys that I wanted. And now, like, they're just not fucking with me. I never get a pair on Yeezy Supply or on um, on Adidas, like, unconfirmed. I don't know what's going on with that. But hopefully my luck changes this year when I try for Yeezys and I, I actually win them. Um, the other pair of shoes that I'm really looking forward to is a pair of Nike Dunks. And these are Supreme Nike Dunks. They were supposed to be releasing last year or we thought they were going to release last year but that never happened so i'm hoping that we do see those in this upcoming season these are called the by they're called by any means they're also coming in two other colorways uh brazil and there's a navy and red colorway um i personally would be happy to grab any of those pairs if you know how supreme works you kind of like 
have to take what you can get unless you're like super super quick and get the ones that you want but as far as the shoe releases go those go fast i usually get the pair that i want if not online in the store but let's just hope that my um uh, lucky streak continues with supreme um but anyway that concludes this video thank you so much for watching if this is something that you like then do follow me i'll do more of these types of things in the future um as we all know, like sometimes the shoes that you plan to get, you don't actually always get those shoes. You lose um, some, you lose some. But you live, you live to fight another day. But I'm just hoping that I have good luck. I'm not gonna, I, I won't even lie and say that I'm gonna like try super hard, but I do, um, I just, you know, put, shoot my little shot and if I get it, I get it. And if I don't, I don't. Um, but what I will do throughout the year is updated videos each month showing which sneakers that I actually did get or was I able to get or whatever shoes I went for, whatever, something like that. I'll start doing those videos um, monthly and be more timely with my uh, <laughs> with my videos. But anyway, thank you so much for being here with me. Um, if this is something that you enjoyed, then please do um, subscribe. I would love to have you guys here. Uh, thank you. Bye.